Well, first of all, I'm going to see if this camera works because I haven't used it in a long time. And then tomorrow, the plan is to make a video about, um, about traveling and tri rail, about more pu public transportation. I'm going to use the train tomorrow to make it down to Miami, and then I'm going to transfer into a bus that's going to take me out to the beach to a class <clears throat> I have later in the afternoon in a building that is right next to the beach. So, yeah, more than anything else, I'm going to use um, tri-rail. And the idea here is to just um, show a little bit or explain a little bit of how it works and, uh, and my trip, my trip down there. All right. Let's see how it goes. on the sun so hopefully you get to see something should be pretty simple process they, they also have an app but um, I'm gonna do it like this this time okay any button to continue uh, one-way quick ticket new easy card reload check easy card balance um, it's a one-way quick ticket. I am going... Well, here we are on G. This is Cypress Creek for Lauderdale. That's G. And we'll be going to the Metro Rail Transfer. That's where we're going today. So, we're going from G to I. Right? Press the button select your destination. My destination is I. And it's $5. So, I'm just going to take my card. Let me just my card real quick I'll just put this here real quick okay. here's the thing one of the reasons I'm doing this the old way with the paper ticket it's because I'm gonna use the bus the public bus later and um, it's different when you um, you do a transfer or better say, when you single bus ride is uh, sick. Single bus ride in Miami is two dollars twenty-five cents. But when you do a transfer, say for instance, tri rail like this or the Broward County transportation system, please remove your credit card. It's only sixty cents. But you need to have a transfer ticket. In this case, um, in this case, I don't have a transfer ticket, but I do have my tri rail ticket, and that's what I'm going to use. So I only pay sixty cents at the Miami bus. Let's go. So here we are at Cypress Creek where I'm taking the train this morning. Just had a class. There is a, believe it or not, there is a, there is a gym very nearby. It's a, maybe two, three blocks away from here. That's where I'm coming from. That's where I had my class. And now I'm going to be taking the tri-rail here all the way down to Miami, to a specific spot in Miami where you can 
make a couple of transfers. I'm not gonna be making the transfer that, uh, that take me into the metro rail, but instead I'm just gonna take the bus. I'm gonna be there slightly early. So I'm gonna use the time to maybe hang out and check out the vicinity. See, this is the train heading north. Zero zero two Miami Airport to Mangonia. Mangonia, that's the name of the station, Mangonia Park. And this is the train heading north. These are big machines. Same style they use. Um, I remember they use machines like that in, in Chicago and Illinois. The same style machines. That's what they use here for the tri rail. Between Miami Dade, Broward, and West Palm Beach. Look at the size of that diesel, huge machine. These are two, two story trains. Pretty cool. I don't know why, but they just announced that the southbound train is switching tracks or switching platforms. They have a sign here, they do it often. I see tri rails northbound trains boarding on track two platform unless otherwise announced and guess what uh, that's exactly what just happened so I just switched platforms and then again just waiting to see how long it takes Three, boarding on the track two platform
So it's very comfy. Look at the chairs. Again, keep in mind this uh, ride is not that long. Even if you're taking the whole length of the of the circuit, it's only from Miami Airport to to the station, Bologna uh, Station, which is just off uh, West Palm Beach. So it's not that long. The chairs are comfy for what for what the trip is. They don't recline, but this is cushioning. This armrest in the middle. And look, it's for the most part empty. They see, lasting for long. And uh, I mean, the views are not great. But this is comfy. The train in Cyprus, Greek. First station here now is Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Four stations to go, but this is Fort Lauderdale. Oh, there's the machine. Behind the machine, this way. Just past the Fort Lauderdale Airport, Hollywood International Airport, I was on that side. Sorry, I missed it. And uh, we just arrived in uh, Hollywood. And there goes the Amtrak. Sheridan, not Hollywood. Sheridan. Sheridan. 
Sharon Station is right next to the Jello Greens Farmer's Market, which has been growing exponentially over the last few years. It's, it's, there's a lot to do here, a lot to eat, a lot to see, a lot to buy, especially weekends. But now every day, from what I understand, I haven't been back in a while, but yeah, Sheridan Station is right next to it. Now we're in Hollywood. Right. Two more stops, two stops. Golden Glades. Two stops more. Two stops. I could stay here because uh, Golden Glades is not just a train station, it's also it's right next to the bus station, a big bus station that, uh, that has buses going all over Miami. Could have done that. No. Not today. Going to the metro rail interchange because because uh, I haven't been there in a long time and I want to have some Cuban food or maybe some I don't know I just want to see how the area holds I haven't been there in a long time. Opaloka. Made it to Opaloka. Next up, Tri Rail Metro Rail Transfer Station. Next up. Here. 
very special station because here we can switch to the metro rail, which is the subway. There's no subway here. Miami doesn't have a subway, but it has a, a train that goes above ground. And this is the station where you can transfer to it. Or you can get out of here, find a good restaurant, have lunch, and then take the bus down to This area is kind of ghetto. It is a lot ghetto. But this is what I was telling you about. This is the interchange. So that, the train that just passed by, that's the tri-rail. And that's the station right there. And then this one on top, that's the metro rail that, uh, that moves around Miami. So that's why you can exchange here. This road down here, it's... Um, what is it? It's... Uh, 25th Street or 79th Street and then you can take the bus down to the beach there which is my plan that's my plan today so let's let's um, I have some time left though forgot to make a conclusion about yesterday. I, I learned a couple things. I learned that you can pay for your, your bus fare. Once inside the, the bus in Miami, that's it, in Miami, with a credit card by tapping the machine. But I also learned that they charge you five bucks per ride if you do it like that. So make sure to have cash or to have one of those um, uh, easy cards they give you. Or they sell you. I also learned that they will not take the tri rail ticket. is uh, is a transfer for the bus. I learned a lot of things about Miami yesterday, but not all is bad. It was a great ride, and. Uh, Today I have a couple of classes down there again. And so we start the day jumping hoops with a wonderful moon out in the background. Check that out. No, not the parking lot lights. Give me one second, let me just find a better angle. One on top, you see the one on top? Yeah, it's a moon. Pretty cool. Bye.